This is actually a very nice place. Who are you? Uh, a friend of Maya's probably gets her, probably getting to him up. Maya's warm still. You're a friend of my sister's. You expect me to believe that? A little old, don't you think? Gee, thanks. Really? You think I wouldn't recognize you? You're the officer who was at the shrine in April who almost got her killed. And now you're lying about it, pretending to be her friend to no doubt, uh, to no doubt to get something from me. Don't look so shocked. The little deception was easy to read is all. After your idiocy in Kamakura, I heard Mai crying over the phone every night for a month. Don't bother her anymore. Now get out of here before myself or one of my or fellow officers has to throw you out. That went about as badly as it could have done. Well, that didn't go well. Maybe my one now had to soften her brother up. To be fair, if I hadn't lied, that probably would have gone better, but you know. I'm also worried I'm going to run into some police officers. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I check this out already? Yes, I did. Okay. Can I get paid for doing all this? Like, seriously? So I think I think the mask can be right up again. Because we're back with my. We already tried to kill her once. Yeah, this is a place where hasn't changed at all. And. Hmm. I think I managed to find your brother. He didn't exactly seem happy to see me. Yeah, you found my you found big brother all right. He's been protective of me ever since we were little. I know. I'm, I know I'm probably overstepping my boundaries, but would you be willing to come talk to him? I don't think he'll tell me anything on my own. You want me to help? You know, seeing you again really got me thinking. I decided that even if everyone's trying to hide it, I can't sit here and ignore what's happening. I need to understand why my family has been acting so strangely. Even my own brother is keeping me in the dark. I'm sick of it. Sure, I'll come with you, Ito. If I went alone, he'd probably pat me on the head and send me on my way. But if you're there, I'm sure he'll tell me about my parents, the mask, and everything. Are you sure that's what you want? want? Sometimes, not knowing is better, Mai. No, no more stupid little Mai. I'd rather be hurt and no than happy and ignorant. But before we go, let's check on Grandma. These days, if she doesn't know where I am, it can really set her off. Alright. We'll make a quick stop at the house. Thanks, bye. This can only end badly! We still have the mask! I did like the animation on the road. I think it's really, really smooth. Even though it doesn't look it because of the fucking recording. It's like. Attention to detail. A dead crow lays in the middle of the street. A small body is in a bad state of decay, covered in dried blood. The maggots have begun eating its, its remains. That wasn't there before. I'm positive that wasn't there before. I don't like where this is going. I really don't like where this is going. Are we going to walk in and... I said no visitors! Leave me alone! Grandma, it's me. Please open the door. My? Oh, my, it's you. Please, come in. Yes, come in. Sneaky bastard. Wait. What is she doing here? It's okay, Grandma. She's here to help. Help? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You were supposed to help me, remember? I... I felt something and you were going to free me from my the past. Free you? Are you talking about the mask? Do not discuss that horrid thing here. No matter how far you go, I can still feel it. Like needles in my skin dragging me to it. In my dreams, I can still see that place. Have you seen it too, detective? A dark place where those we've lost reside? I'm so old and I've wasted so much time. 
yet the pain won't go away. My poor Imiko. I miss her so much. If only I could have found her. Hey, Amigo? You mean Mom? Find her? What are you talking about? She's gone! Takeshi told me she died after I was born. Yes, of course. You shouldn't be asking about such things, Mai. If it wasn't for this woman, you'd be safe at the shrine. No, Grandma, you're wrong. I'm not safe while everyone lies to me. I'm going to see Takashi. If you don't tell me the truth, he will. Mai, listen to yourself. You must stop. Opening the door to the past will solve nothing. Ever since you were little, I've done what I could to protect you and your brother. Please, don't go down this path. You look so much more like her, you know. Your mother. And you, Detective. Perhaps my granddaughter is too naive to see it. But you can't hide it from me. I know what you've seen. What you think you're able to do. But keep my family out of it. We've suffered enough. You don't know anything about me, and besides, I'm not the one hiding things from my family. Tell me, do you know the story of Izanagi and Izanami? I do, but does Ito? Grandma, this again? I'm sure Ito's not interested in hearing some old myth. Really, we should get going. Stay right there. Though I've told you this story so many times, you don't seem to grasp its importance. I think it would be of use to this woman to hear it. Izanagi and Izanami were the first of the gods, known to us as the Kami. In legend, it was the drops of ocean water that fell from Izanagi's jeweled spear that created the islands of Japan. When they descended to our lands, they brought their love and devotion with them to the realm of the realms of the mor of mortals. Yeah, sounds bad. Izanagi and Izanami had many children, the deities of nature that inhabit the natural world all around us. For a time, life was peaceful. However, as Izanami gave birth to, birth to Kaga, Kagatsuki, the Kami of Fire, she was horribly burnt and suffered mortal wounds. As she lay dying and faced with her mortality, new Kami were born from her suffering. Kami that hid away from the light. When Izanami passed, Izanagi was inconsolable, and in his rage he struck down the child that killed his love. Unable to accept her death, he ventured deep underground to Yomi no Kuni, a land of the dead. Half blind and distraught with grief, he wandered in the darkness until he finally heard the voice of his beloved. Now, from how I remember this going, let's take a bet now, because I think this, they cover this somewhat in Persona, but she's meant to be horribly disfigured and really ugly and just is not getting love with her anymore. Though unable to see her face, Izanagi begged Izanami to return with him. Izanami replied that she would try and ask the gods of Yomi no Kuni permission to return to the land of the living. Incapable of restraining his desire to see his love, Izanagi set his comb alight in order to look upon his lost love. Yeah, I call it. What granted him, what greeted him, was the sight of his decaying wor of her decaying worm-eaten face. In horror, Izanagi attempted to flee Yomi no Kuni. Izanami, enraged, sent dark spirits to pursue him and drag him back to her. After narrowly escaping, Izanagi sealed the entrance to Yomi no Kuni with a giant bolt, with a great bolt there. So you see, it is our mortality that brings suffering into the world, yet resisting it is a perversion of the natural order. Being immortal means we must accept that we cannot control life and death. Detective, some things cannot be changed, and some doors should never be opened. You must stop. Grandma, you're talking about stories and myths. We're talking about real things. The story may be a myth, but there is truth within it. Can't you see that? The things you pursue, they're unnatural, unclean. Heed my warning and stop this foolishness. I won't let you involve my family any further. First those bastards take my Emiko, then you show up. Perhaps I'm being punished for my sins. My, come here. Come here, my sweet child. I must keep you away from her. No, Grandma, I told you already. I'm going to see Takashi. I'm an adult now. You can't tell me what to do anymore. No, you can't. You can't go. 
We must protect our family from from outsiders, Mai. You're reopening old wounds. Leave us alone. Let us heal. Heal? You think I want to heal? Can't you see how much these lies have hurt me already? You're the one wounding me, Grandma, not Ito. You're delusional. You tell us stories about Kami and spirits. Takashi might hide things from me too, but at least he makes sense. This time he's going to tell me the truth about everything. About Mom and Dad too. No. Stop. I'll tell you how your parents... How they... You can't, can you? You've never told me how they died. Reasons always changed every time I asked. Wow. No, my, please. You must listen. There. They... They might be listening. They're still out there and they haven't, forgive, still haven't forgiven me. Can't you see? They? What are you talking about? You're insane! I'm sorry I spoke to you that way. I'll be back to check on you soon. Don't go. Please. Goodbye, Grandma. Wow. I'm sorry. She's gotten much worse since you last saw her. No, it's fine. Why do you think she told us that story? I have an idea, but I don't recall it yet. About Izanagi? I... I don't know. It's kind of creepy, wasn't it? She was talking about it like she really believed it. Come on, let's go see Takashi. I'm of the inclination that that's got a big part to play in this whole affair. Like, don't try and bring the dead back to life or something like that. Because we know Takashi's dead. Uh, not Takashi. Um, the love, the love boy. He's dead. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where do you think you're going? My and I are leaving. We'll love it. Oh, well, you can't. I got a call from Mai's grandma, and she says she's having health issues, so she has to stay. I, uh, I didn't ask what they were. Wouldn't want to be caught fainting on my shift again. Must be pretty bad if she called. Mai's an adult. Her grandmother can't keep her here. Let's go. No, you you don't understand. You're not going anywhere. I don't want to use violence. <sighs> the only way we're getting out of here is convincing the grandmother we can go. I don't want to hit him, because that's not going to solve anything. There's got to be another way through this. Something I haven't seen. Wait! Aha! Ugh. I think I'm wearing gloves. It's better work. Do 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 do. <laughs> so, everything has a reason in this game, I guess. It's not like the most professional way to do it, but... Oh. My. God. Uh, I told you about how I don't like... I... About the... Blah, 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 and... But that's not really my f thing, you see? The germs and... Ooh. Okay, I'm dizzy. I'm a little dizzy. This is going to... Oh, what? Oh, dear. Just faint. Sure looks like it. He'll be fine. Let's get a move on. That's, um... One way I do it, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it's... You know... <laughs> Good evening, because no, something might have changed around here. Wait, one per customer. I wonder. Oh. Wait, I couldn't buy food for my... Uh, the English guys aren't here. 